In 2019, you said in an interview that you saw yourself settle back in Indiana within 10 years. Is that still on your radar for 2029? I don't know if settled is a good word, but I did buy my first um, investment property okay. on my block. I kind of want to buy up as much as I can on my block. <laughs> this is in Indiana? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, I just want to like help uh, give back to my community a little mm-hmm. bit, you know, do something to better it instead of because I say like I used to say I hate this place I've got to get out of here you know it's so small there's nothing here you Mm -hmm. know but at the end of the day it gave me everything that I needed to come out here and do what I need to do so that's really wrong of me to say so now I feel like you know it's not their fault a lot of people can't get out like that I didn't, they don't have the opportunity yeah I was lucky to have my parents help me with my kids and that's it so it was a blessing yeah uh, but most people don't have that and they it's harder for them to get out so it's I feel bad so I want to try to like bring something back you know yeah or help fix up stuff or give back to the community so it's interesting that you say that because I find that every time you know I grew up in LA so yeah I've always been here my whole life. Mm-hmm. Um, but the older I get, and now that I have a kid, like I find myself wanting to leave the city, like a city that I always yeah. was so happy I lived in and I couldn't imagine ever leaving and everything else is so boring. And I'm so glad I don't live in a small town yeah. and big city is where it's at and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And now like, you know, like I just went to Portland to go visit my sister um, with my husband and my daughter a couple weeks ago. I heard it's beautiful there. It was so beautiful. Mm-hmm. And we actually stayed in, in Washington, when we were there and would drive into Portland to see my sister. But it was mm-hmm. just like we stayed in um, um, Camas, a small little community with a small little like town square, probably mm-hmm. no more than like 15 shops. And I was like, this is so nice. Yeah. You know, and it was like a – and it was a community. We went to this one um, – there was like this uh, little place that had a bunch of like food trucks um, and that was part of like this – like kind of center and then there was a bar and they had like line dancing on Thursday night and there was That's all these fun. people there doing line dancing yeah and I'm not into country and you would you couldn't catch me dead line dancing <laughs> really <laughs> no but I was watching it and I was like this is really cool like yeah. these people have like you know this something. community and something to do yeah. and everyone's here and like you know in LA everybody's so worried about what the other person thinks of them yeah. and how they look and that kind yeah. of thing like you you wouldn't have that in LA no. was, these people were just like having fun I look homeless when I go home <laughs> literally and this I shouldn't say this but I'd be lucky to shower like every every other day or two days I'm just like ah who cares yeah <laughs> you know yeah so um I I do find now I'm like I I'm kind of I always think about moving to like a smaller town or mm-hmm. a smaller place where like you know my daughter would have a sense of mm-hmm. community there's just isn't really much of that here but yeah i I don't see myself ever leaving this place. Yeah, it's hard when you get access to everything. Mm-hmm. Like, because I say that too. I'm like, I don't know if I could actually live there. I mean, not anytime soon anyways, because you don't have access to stuff. Like, like when I fly in, I drive an hour and a half just to get home from the airport, you wow. know? So it's yeah. like, and it's like no traffic. You know what yeah. I mean? It's a solid hour and a half period. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? So it's like, I don't know. It's hard when you get spoiled, I guess you should yeah. say, and then have to go smaller yeah but yeah yeah Yeah. definitely miss home a little bit here and there (laughs) how often do you go back I try to go back at least two three times a year okay yeah like you go back for the holidays I do usually yeah like Thanksgiving usually stay here Mm because it's just so short yeah but um Christmas I usually always go home so yeah yeah and they stay there for like a couple weeks so that sounds nice yeah it is Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q and A's, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.